Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Didi Kanku with your host, David. Today, we have a very special guest. It's my pleasure to introduce a successful entrepreneur and a certified coach, Mr. Joshua Sutanto. Hi, Joshua. Hey, Welcome. David. How are you? Very good. Thank you. It's a yeah. pleasure to have you. Yes, thank you very much for having me here. I'm privileged to have um, to meet with you in this podcast. We have been uh, planning for this since a few months ago, yeah? <laughs> we have, yes. And uh, well, unfortunately, I had to have a little surgery uh, yeah. when, when we were scheduled to do the podcast, but it's great to have you now. It's an honor to have you. Um, so Joshua, can you tell us uh, a little bit about your background for some of the audience and listeners um, who aren't so familiar with you? Um, tell us a bit about your uh, entrepreneurial journey and what kind of um, businesses you've started. Okay. So, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm just, uh, I just rebrand myself to being named Joshua Tan. So, some ah. of you will uh, see my social media, Joshua Tan, and it's joshuatan.id, the website. Uh, but you can still call me Joshua Sutanto. That's my like legal name. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I used to be an introvert, if you can say. I used to be. I cannot talk. I cannot say a word in a podcast like podcast like this, even in English. <laughs> so I used to be an introvert. Um, uh, when everyone is playing, I'm studying. See, when everyone is, um, you know playing with the uh, you know girls and come and go and I just study and you know in 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 school we used to have extracurricular you know that mm -hmm. and do you, do you guess what what did I take for your extracurriculars yeah. I think it would be something that you do alone maybe computers yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can I can even believe that I took that it's chess well nothing to do with nothing wrong with chess anyway but you know, everybody's yeah. getting volleyball, basketball, and, you know, getting um, uh, girls around him and everything else. You know, a uh, uh, chess, a wow. choir. <laughs> choir. Choir, and okay. Choir, yeah, nothing wrong with choir, but, you know, it's um, for, uh, it's something, you know, for introvert stuff. And you know what? This is, I can't believe, typing. <laughs> Typing, typing with the well, old, old typewriter, like you know, a a a a s s d d f. So I, I'm surprised that they still have that as an extracurricular. <laughs> <laughs> back back like 300 years ago when I was still young, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you were too, <laughs> right? So so yeah, um, I I used to be an introvert. I cannot talk even even I didn't know that girl. Some girls are you know liking me, <laughs> so that that um bad. And when I work, start to my um, I, I start my work. Uh, I start to be an accountant. So my background is accounting and IT, IT wow. accounting. That's why um, I worked in a tax accountant in Australia. I spent almost ten years there, uh, okay. and working in um, consultants to consultants. Uh, I help many businesses while I'm working, as well as. Uh, I work as well as an, uh, an accounting software. So it's an, uh, a system consultant. Mm. So um, from there, I, uh, I got back to Indonesia. Um, I, I wanted to start business, but I know that, you know, in Indonesia, business is not that simple. So uh, I was thinking, oh, okay, let's just uh, work first, you know, in, in, uh, in a company. So I work with an MTech group, uh, SCTV, you know, SCTV, MTech, uh, now Mtech owns Bukalapak and you know BlackBerry and stuff, okay. um, but you, at that time it was Next Media. Uh, I was the founding team there, and then um, I I was like the fifth person there or like fourth. So like I'm doing anything. So what I called it Chapchai manager, you know Chapchai. What does that mean? Chapchai like is like. Everything else is there. <laughs> it's the mixed vegetable, <laughs> you know. So basically, you did everything in the company. I did everything, yeah. Not I, just accounting, but management, no, yeah, marketing. Yeah. Well, because um, uh, oh, thanks to Pak Fofo, Sariat Maja at that time, 
Yeah, he asked me to hey, just join us and, and then, you know help me in building this uh, new company, new business, pay TV, so pay TV. Mm. So that was my job desk. Uh, you don't have a job desk. You just help me. <laughs> okay, that's good. I can learn from someone, you know, uh, a business, a big businessman at that time. Wow. So my title is just business development manager. So yeah, uh, well, I just develop the business from right. from um, getting the permit, uh, licensing, you know, uh, setting router. <laughs> Uh, getting into um, you know uh, we are at a, a BNI tower the fifth, 51st floor of BNI tower at that time it was the highest in the Jakarta mm. so I got there and up to a setting transmitter for the TV for the TV wow. trial um, including making financial planning <laughs> and everything else between <laughs> so it's called Chap Chai manager Chap Chai is a mixed vegetable so if I can say Uh, yeah, I do everything, but I'm I'm very grateful that I, I did that. It was a unique experience, but that's what's important for an entrepreneur because you do everything. Uh, because an entrepreneur would do anything, right? right. That's why that's why people call it CEO. Mm. Now, uh, I don't like to be in the CEO. That's why in my title I call it I call myself a founder of Lightris Group, founder and CXC. Uh, CXC, Chief What? Expert Coach. Mm. So I oh. want to be the coach of everyone, not just officer. Right. And and because CEO stands for Chief Everything Officer. <laughs> <laughs> because he right. does everything, right? Yeah. Well, well, I did that. You know, I I did everything by myself, except except one for my. You know, I just have one um one employee at that time. Uh, and and he just helped me with the with the uh, database stuff. You know, at that time, my my first business was in uh, uh, system implementation. So we do software implementation. I'm cooperating with my previous boss in Australia. So we bring the uh, the branch in Indonesia. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, uh, from there. Uh, in 2015, I joined a business coaching company, Gratio. It's called with Coach Johannes G. Pauli. Uh, at that time, uh, it, it transformed me from being like, you know, just an introvert, accounting and IT background, doing stuff, you know. Um, and I was trained to being a coach, like, a you know, trainer, coach, and everything else. So I changed uh, myself. I have never... I've never had an, any a sales marketing or coaching experience before. Like, you know, I just help. I just like to teach people. <laughs> I like to teach music, okay. <laughs> I teach uh, English, uh, teach, you know, teach software. I used, I used to be that software trainer. And uh, it transformed me until I can, be, I can, uh, I can help many businesses in, in many industries from small to big. Uh, trillions of rupiah to like you know zero or even minus rupiah in their business <laughs> and uh, it was a great experience for me and and i learned a lot i'm sure now, i'm sure wow yeah and now now i have um, several businesses and under lightris group so i created uh, this group light trees it's the, the trees of light so light trees mm. uh, we have three main Four actually, four main businesses. One is Expreneur, which is the, in a business expert service. I'll explain later. And then we have Fitan Group, Fitan Property. That's uh, including Fitan Co Space. So that's a property. That's um, I started that as well from from 2010 when I started the business. And then we have Flytech, which is the a technology side. I used to be integral. Indonesia in part of uh, from Australia. Now okay. it, we stand alone. And the last one was Starius Group, which is uh, more to the accommodation, F&B stuff. Yeah. Wow. wow. I mean, you've had such a long journey there when you go back. Um, and you mentioned like when you started out, you were introverted um, and 
you actually took some very strange extracurriculars. I mean, <laughs> typing, typing. I don't think a lot of people go. I want to learn typing as yeah, an extracurricular. Yeah. But but I don't regret. Now I can no. type like very fast. Like I can do. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm typing. Wow. I thought you like. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I can type like very fast. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. So everything that you've kind of done has led up to helping you now where you are now. Yes, Is that right? Yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Never regret anything. Um, I used to be that, but even some people still like that, you know, nothing right. wrong with it. You can always be in trouble the whole of your life. But I, what I can say is you can change yourself. Mm. I used so, to be, I used to be that. And then now I'm yeah. this. Well, I no. wanted to ask you on that part. So, Was that a conscious uh, decision for you to make? Like you felt, oh, I'm introverted. I need to be more extroverted. And did you make that conscious decision to to do something about it? Or did it just kind of happen? Um, a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of both. Uh, like maybe the... the uh, I share this in, on my YouTube, you know, in Indonesia. Some uh, you can search about how I can. Uh, I used to not like something, but mm -hmm. I, I turn out to be liking that. You know, sometimes like um, when I was a little kid, I don't like apple. I don't know why. Okay. Maybe because the the witch is holding apple to, to Snow White, <laughs> or I don't know what, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, so I just don't like apple, but. Uh, I think I cannot. I uh, there's um, something in me that's saying that I cannot be that loser. You see, I cannot be that loser. You don't like apple, you know. You see, apple is good. You know? So I try to like apple until now. I like apple very much. I don't I used. I used to hate what's called ginger. Maybe mm. maybe you still hate ginger. <laughs> now no, I, I can. I can I've enjoy. I've always liked ginger. <laughs> yeah, you always like ginger. Okay. From little kids, uh, you know, from little kids, no, no one likes ginger, you see? Mm. That's like, yeah, stuff like that. So I, um, ginger, uh, now I like, I can enjoy like, you know, ginger tea and everything else. Now, uh, I used to hate what is called finance, you know, so <laughs> stock exchange. Ah, I hate that very much. You know, sales, marketing. Ah, no, no, no. That's like, you know, some people, some people say it's bullshit. So, yeah. But, but, but what did you hate about it exactly? Like like apples and ginger, you know, that's something that I think comes with, um, I don't know, it's like age. For example, I hated vegetables mm. when I was young. All vegetables, but now I eat vegetables because I know okay. it's good for me and I, I enjoy yeah. vegetables, yeah. right? But things like finance, marketing, those are things that are a bit harder. It's not like we grow up and we realize, oh, This is actually important, right? Mm. But what did you actually hate about it when you were in the beginning? Uh, that's a good question. L l that led me to a conclusion um, where how can I how can I hate something? How can some people now I met they hate or not even sometimes they hate or they are afraid of cats. They are afraid of clowns. Mm. They are afraid of Some of them chicken. <laughs> so, ah, you said chicken. <laughs> if I, if you ask them, and you can ask me now, if I can say why I hate them, because I failed maybe the, mm. like the first, the first time I saw like how to calculate NPV in finance 101. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not for me. It's just too hard. Right. I failed algebra. I failed algebra. I still remember when I was uh, SMP. SMP. Uh, Maybe like grade seven, yeah, at that time, yeah. I felt like three out of ten. So I said, no, algebra is not for me. <laughs> so maybe in business, I can say, draw a conclusion. Maybe in, in our lives or in business, we, we, we have that, you know. We right. fail, and then right. we make a conclusion. It's not for me. Right. I there, fail. There, there's that fear that comes from failing the first time. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the first time I ate apple, it, apple, it, it felt something, you know, at that time. It, you know, it's it a reminded bit, you, know, you of the witch in Snow White. No, it, not exactly. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just exaggerating. I know. <laughs> not exactly. But it feels like, you know, uh, 
I, I cannot I cannot say a word, but you know it feels not good at that time, you know. Right. So right. Uh, it makes uh, people like that. That's why some people don't like vegetable. You know, right. it's a bit it's a bit um bittery and you know mm. that. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think for example, for me, one reason why I like vegetables now is you realize you have to take care of your health. Yeah. And if you don't eat vegetables, yeah. <laughs> then you're uh, not going to be very healthy. And so yeah. it's it's not so much I like vegetables. It's I know I have to like them. <laughs> and, and maybe that's the same for you with finances and marketing. If you're going to run a business, you have to know the finances of your business. You have to know how to market your business. Do you think that's, do you think that's uh, related? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when we are in it, And we feel that, oh, I need this. You, you know, I said that I hate finance and stock exchange, right? But I ended up uh, in 2007, I I'm, I was into that stock <laughs> trading. <laughs> Even I trade options, you know, Forex and everything else with calls and puts and everything else. So right. I was into it and I, I like it very much at that time. Until I lost it all, <laughs> and then I another conclusion. Ah, it's not for me again. But uh, I, when I grew up uh, until this time, I feel that nothing is actually bad or good. Right. You know? So everything is according to your experience, according to what people say to you, according to how you feel about it. How. Even how the news is telling you. <laughs> right, right. right. I, I think so. that's very true. Like you do something and, and when you fail, it kind of puts you back and it puts you in a mindset. Like if I try again, maybe I'll fail. But it seems like you overcame that and you said, you know, I failed, but I learned from something. It's it's not a bad thing that that, well, like you said, you lost a lot maybe, but in the end, you also gained a lot. Yeah. So yeah. so what what made you um, start Light Tree and what was you said now there's four different um, parts of the business there's technology um, and there's three others you'll have to repeat them um, but yeah. <laughs> what what was what got you to start this by yourself what made okay. you have that courage to go out and start your own business Yeah yeah so There's a story uh, behind it. Like the, there's a connection. It's not just like no. I uh, I want to start selling uh, clothing, <laughs> right. not like that. So, uh, first business I I was getting is because I keep in good contact with my boss, a previous ex boss in in Australia, and then uh, we talk a lot. How yeah, how we uh, we expand to Indonesia? So we we do um, integral uh, in Asia Pacific. So integral Australia, we bring it to Asia Pacific. So okay, let's let's do that. And then we we had a big client from there. Uh, we helped to systemize one of the um, biggest helmet manufacturer. If you know I N K I N K K Y T M D S, it's Indonesian. So I, I think I've heard of. Yeah, them, if yeah. you if you use motorcycle, that that's a big uh, market share. And also yeah. Honda and uh, holding company of um, holding company of Freeport. I didn't know that this holding company of Freeport. So it's uh, it's called you know a, a, P, a PT and then uh, oh I found out that it's a holding company of Freeport in Papua. Yeah. Oh really? So wow. yeah, after a few years um, learning, you know, and and, and do try um, you know, with with my partner in Australia. Um, It's growing. It's growing. Oh, by the way, uh, when I started, uh, uh, thanks to also my guru is Tung Desem Waringin. Tung Desem Waringin. So I learned a lot from he, her, him. Uh, and I also started property. So the first business that I started is actually, it's almost almost at the same time. So I own, um, I, I managed to buy a 1.4 billion rupiah house mm -hmm. without my own money. So I just I just um, practice what my teacher said. So it right. works. It works. So a, a power of actions. So I just action, action, and and I managed to do that. 
So that's my first business to own. I think an that's an interesting story right there. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> that's another two hours we can say. we can make that. We'll, another, we'll go into that, that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I bought I bought it in 2010, right? Uh, for 1.4 billion without my own money. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's using leverage with bank, right? And then I sold it in two years for 2.4. Wow. <laughs> I mean that's a very good I won't say return of an investment because yeah, you didn't yeah. invest anything. Well, yeah. you invested your time, I guess. I fancy that. No, at the end at the end of time I calculated sometimes I I put in money, sometimes I got um, extra. So I calculated mm-hmm. everything. It's 20 million 20 juta rupiah. Okay. <laughs> to for for maintaining the 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 property the property the house. So that's my first business, a uh, property Uh, so when I started business, I always this two have these two, so property and and uh, technology. So I do system implementation, and then property. The, why I I chose property because um, from from uh, my mentors told me that whatever business or whatever you do, property needs to be on site <laughs> on this on your side right. because it always go up, it always goes up, it always goes up. Never go just down until um, except except you have um, uh, I don't know uh, what do you call that uh, earthquake or something <laughs> and it goes down uh, so it go it goes up and uh, it's true I start with nothing I really start with nothing my my parents is just lending me a ruko and I I'm taking a loan from it. So I'm I'm starting with with the loan from the bank, right? And I I managed to multiply my asset like maybe 30 times. Oh, no, even I will start with nothing, so we cannot see, we cannot calculate the multiplication. So, <laughs> but I can multiply into like you know, um, uh, yeah, 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 big, big assets. Uh, right. Yeah. So so property is going, and then I also start with system. Back to your question, uh, how did I start this? Well, that that's the start, and then I joined the business coaching company, so that's another another feat. People said people said you're not focused. I said I'm diversifying. <laughs> <laughs> when when I see well, I'm focused in one one each one of them. Yeah, right. um, I I didn't regret I made that decision to. Join as a business coach at that time, mm-hmm. um, and if people will say like, "Look at your, look at your, even your business, your own business is not that good. How can you teach people? You <laughs> see, how can you coach people? I don't care about that. So because um, I know that if I can learn something, I can help others. I'm learning as well, and that's right. true. Right. I'm I'm a a coach. Well, I teach people, and I am also a practitioner, practice. I right. own a business, so I'm I'm a coach that move from from an entrepreneur. So I started from entrepreneur, and then I moved to coach. But guess right. what? Guess what? People said, "Why don't you just just be one? You know, focus on coaching or focus on your entrepreneur." No, I didn't want to. That's right. why I said. Um, because when I coach people, I can say that, hey, Pak, I know it's hard. You know, ngomong itu gampang gitu kan. Mm. Uh, like, you know, just talking like this, just, you know, in this session, I talk to you like this, giving you advice. Right. It's very easy. Right. <laughs> it's very anyone, easy. Well, anyone can, can do it. Anyone can do it. Yes. Yeah, anyone can do it. You But just not everyone talk. can do it well. <laughs> <laughs> But I say, Doing it is much, much more difficult. Absolutely, I've been there, Pa, Bu. You see, I have a business myself, right. and and doing this is not that hard. You need to do it uh, yourself. So I can be like you know a mix of mentor. You know, right? Uh, so I've been there. I've do it, and I can be a better coach because I right. and, I do it. And and you know they say the best way to learn is to teach. Yes. Do you, do you find? Yeah, I, I just want to, to about to say that <laughs> <laughs> the best way to learn is to teach. Yes, that's right. Yeah. 
So, so that's and, one. And, and of course, in your case, you're actually doing it. So you're actually, yeah. you're actually learning from experience, but you're also helping people learn through your experience, which yeah. gives you more experience, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And, and the framework are very good that we are, uh, you know, we are coaching our clients. The framework is very good, but applying it to our real situations, you know, all frameworks are good. Frameworks right. are made from, uh, or people say theory, I said framework. Framework was made from, from a um, experience as well, you know. Mm. Uh, Michael Porter, how, how can he make 4P? <laughs> well, he's from experience, from marketing experience, right? And right. So uh, when I um, practice it, I, I implemented it in my business, um, I found some failures. I found some, uh, it's not that easy just saying like that. So, so I made it some adjustments and improvements to it. And I, when I um, share that to my clients, they feel, oh, this is quite practical. You see? Wow. Um, and the other way around, the other way around. So, so that, that conclusion, I can be a good coach, a good teacher by also practicing it on my business. Right. And the other thing, the other side, I can be a good, a better entrepreneur. I can be a better business owner because when I teach, I remind myself. Mm. I keep reminding myself, you see? Right. Um, and also because I teach and I learn from many businesses, you know, when I practice into my business, it's much better than, you know, just uh, not, not teaching. <laughs> see? Yeah. Right. Wow. Wow. So, so you're actually getting a lot of on the, I guess, in the field training. I wouldn't say on the job, but kind of on the job. You're doing it. You're getting your hands dirty. Um, but you're also sharing that. And you're also learning from the people you're coaching, the people you're teaching, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so you're doing a bit of experience sharing as well. So what do you focus on now? Um, Joshua. Now, What's yeah. Um, if I can continue a bit from there. Sure, sure. Uh, how can I do fit and cost space? So, um, because I I do business coaching and and I'm I'm doing my business, I have to systemize my business because I'm doing part time. Right. That's why I need to. I I implemented some system systemization uh, process into my business. And I managed to make it like only I, I can just be there only two days a week. Mm. So it's, it's running autopilot. It's running right. on itself. So you automated it by implementing systems to make sure yes. you can manage it from wherever you are and yes. make sure everything's running smoothly. Yeah. Then um, the business grows from, you know, two three, four employees, five, and then six. Um, at that time, we, we, were have, we were having a small office and we need to move. Now, when, when we move, we feel that uh, we just want to share the office with someone. So I search in, in Google, Ruko setengah lantai. <laughs> half, you know, half floor Ruko, yeah? Right. Uh, and I cannot find it. So, um, uh, at, yeah, after a few while, a few while um, I managed to have um, my family's Ruko. So we used that. And I used only one, you know, one, even half a floor, you know. Mm. So um, we are making this fit and co space at that time. Okay. Uh, we uh, renovate the others and, and, and rent in a small part. Right. And I cooperate with my teacher, uh, Ferry Refiandi. Is mm. his teaching, um, he's teaching the how to make a working space, and now we are building fit and co space as as the office operator. Wow! So that's how how can the the second business, the fit and co space, is coming? Wow! From uh, my experience. Now, I have two now. Yeah, property right. side and the IT side. Now I felt. This is, this is uh, to answer your question, how can Lightrish Group came? Mm -hmm. I felt that, you know, how, why, why do I have to have um, 
uh, a finance guy, a finance staff in each of them. You know, see? Right. And why do I have to have um, a, a marketing staff in from property and for, you know, the technology mm-hmm. and get for others? So, um, in story short, in, in short, I moved those to a holding company. Okay. It's called Light wow. Group. So everyone, everyone now in, in my um, company, in my group, is sitting on the Light Group. So marketing for Light Group, they, they go on to do the others. The, the money, the finance accounting stuff is doing others. It's, I found that a much more, uh, a much more uh, focus. Mm-hmm. Instead of focusing on one division of business, Right. They can be focused on their expertise. That's why it we call it expreneur. Right, and it also helps your team to understand each part of the business under Light Trees Group. Right. Yeah. So, so it stemmed out from what I'm hearing. It stemmed out from you thinking, how can this be more efficient? But actually, it turned into not just for efficiency, but for your team to also be able to know the different businesses yep. underneath Light Trees Group. Wow. Yes, that's right. And that um, creates me the, the new, another division which is called Expreneur. Mm. I used to do coaching, right? I used right. to do business coaching. I'm trained to be Superman. I can do marketing, sales, operation system, human capital, money, everything else. See? Well, Entrepreneur needs to be like that. You know, a CEO, you need to right. cover everything. An MBA, you know, see? MBA needs to cover everything. But I have a different approach. My approach is to focus on one expertise. Mm. That's why it's called Xpreneur. I'm inspired by X-Men or Avengers. <laughs> it's called <laughs> X. Uh, so in X-Men, Professor Xavier recruited Wolfrin I don't need to teach him to fly. Right. right. Magneto can fly from magnets. A storm can fly. You don't need to, to get, you know, uh, you, to get them to fly. Mm. And others. So I felt that if you're good in speaking, then focus in, in speaking type of job. Don't mm. bother in don't bother in learning about how to count, you know. Itung, so itung kind, kind of like everyone has their own ability and everyone should focus on what their ability is. Is that right? Yeah. And I got this from my team. So I, when I asked my team, What's, what makes you happier in working here? So I, I, if I can focus on one thing, what one thing right. you want? Uh, uh, at that wow. time, he is, um, she is um, um, uh, an accounting staff. So I don't need to do marketing and I don't like speaking to people, you know. So what do you want to do? I just, if you can just give me uh, calculation stuff every day, I can do it better. Ah, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so that makes focus, right? That's why all agency, like we have marketing agency, we have um, tax consultants, you know? Right. We have um, whatever, uh, recruitment consultants. What they do is every day they recruit, <laughs> they're recruiting. Right. They're, every day they're counting, they're calculating. So... Um, so I, I did that in, in Lightrix Group and, and, and that creates Xpreneur in which I'm um, uh, focusing right now. Mm-hmm. Xpreneur is um, it's a community of experts mm. where they go together like in Xpen and we help each other where, where the, sales, uh, the salespeople who cannot calculate um, like you know, it's not uh, it's not good in calculating things and administrative stuff. Right. You you can just you know keep talking to people. Just <laughs> keep <day>. selling. <laughs> just keep selling. <laughs> keep talking. Right. <laughs> keep, you know, keep doing whatever you like. You know. And, and then, you you say this is a community, so yeah. you work together with other experts. Is that yes. right? You you don't yes. actually employ them, but you work together with them. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, just like how Prof- Professor Xavier recruits Wolfram. <laughs> right, right. So, so we, we work together, four hour together, 
I mean, for for togetherness, for our for benefits. The, for the benefit of the community, of right? Everyone, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. And and currently, uh, so this, this is just like a food court, you see? In yeah. the food court, you have multiple food. And currently, I'm focusing on business automation. So I'm one of them, which is operating system. Uh, we help... Um, we help businesses in automating the 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 business, delegating the task, cloning the leaders, cloning the owners into the the system, so they can run without um, having being always being there. Mm, wow! So so basically, what you're doing is helping businesses that are starting up or that are already established. And helping them to be more efficient, have better leadership, better management, and be more automated. Kind of like what you've done for your business. Yeah, yeah. I did that in 2000, uh, what was it, 2017, 16, okay. 17, 18, when I was doing business coaching. Right. Um, I do, I'm doing part-time. So the other part-time, I'm, I'm growing my business. And it's growing. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And and what what tips could you give someone like or what advice could you give someone or maybe not advice but if someone was to engage with your services what would they get from you like what what would you do first what would you look at first in a business uh what would I look first in a business well if someone engaged with you what would okay. be the first step in the process Oh, the first step is we're going to do a business checkup because mm. uh, so expert, we have, we have a general practitioner like Dr. Umum. See, right. If right. you, if you have some <clears throat> problem with your business, you can talk to the general practitioner right. and this Dr. Umum will refer you to the specialist, doctor specialist. Oh, oh you okay. need marketing. We have experts in marketing. Oh, you need human capital. Uh, we call it power team. You know, right. uh, we you have power team booster expert, and we have mm. some other experts are in expander community and expander agency, and they are ready to help you with done for you. So they right. they can be a coach, they can be an entrepreneur, they can be a consultant, they can be an expert, um, or or agents agency, and they are helping you with done for you service not just um coaching oh well always uh advising and coaching will always be involved right. but not just that but um doing it for you for example um for my my field which is business automation um so people will we will analyze their time lock people come to me and say how can be i how can I spend like seven days in my business? I cannot leave it. This is a real story. Yes, so I'm seven sure. days. Imagine seven days a week, <laughs> like every day and almost 10 to 12 hours a day. Right. When do you go to mall? <laughs> I never go to mall. <laughs> last, time, last time we had a holiday was like last Idul Fitri, Lebaran. When Lebaran, wow. eh, tutup, gitu kan? Every is closed. So, I, uh, we, we help people not just you know like selling something, but we are changing someone's life. Right. At that time, I help them. I help this guy from uh, this entrepreneur in Bandung. Uh, we created the system, and finally, uh, after the uh, the service uh, is over. Um, he said, okay, I, he can do it himself. All right. And after a year, uh, I went there and say hi. And how, how's your business? Oh, it's good now. I only came like two, three days a week. Wow. Um, and then uh, my, my, my revenue doubled. Mm. And even he want, he is trying to, he, he's planning to, open a new branch. Wow. So time and energy goes down. Right. But money goes up. <laughs> right. Profitability and Profitability. Pr productivity goes up. Yeah. 
even though you can you and what is the main thing there is it is it technology when you say like you're implementing systems when you're helping people with these uh, for example that client that you had who was working seven days a week in the beginning not taking holidays basically his his life was his business how did you change that was it changing the mindset or um, implementing the right systems, having the right technology, or was it a combination of all of that? Yeah, you know the answer. It's a combination. <laughs> uh, some people already have a right mindset. Right. Came to me like, no, I, I know I cannot be like this. Please help us. Please help me. So that's the right mindset. But uh, some people came to us. It's just like, how can I be? My, how can be? How can I be autopilot? How can I leave this business. Everything is on me. You see? Right. Um, I cannot, I have to do it. Like I have to do this on my own, like until I die. <laughs> <laughs> so that we need to change the mindset. That's right. why coaching came into it. That's why when mm -hmm. I, I was the business coach, we coach people and, and they're doing um, the actions uh, that are strategic and, right. and they have, and they have results. But the difference, uh, the problem with just, just coaching, so coaching is very important in the beginning because you need to change the mindset. You need to challenge people. Right. But after that, they don't know how to... Um, they don't know what the next step is. Yeah, what, what's the next step? They know how to do it. We, we advise them. Okay, right. but you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. Right. But when they do it, uh, when they start to cook the cake, cook the cake, um, it's not that easy, you see, mm -hmm. and and the cake sometimes you know do trial and error, so that's mm -hmm. why I, when I have enough experience in business coaching, five years there, um, I'm I'm creating this new uh, um, venture. Is this entrepreneur? It's helping people when where we help do it for you, mm -hmm. so wow. you don't have to you don't have to worry. Um, we are the tailor of system. We are the tailor of you know everything else. Yeah. Uh, so so basically, service. first you do is analyze what's happening, and yeah. then create something tailor made for whatever the analysis was in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and then helping, of course, the um, I guess business owner or whoever their manager is, or if they have uh, directors. And then helping them to through coaching, through advising, through trainings, like yeah. that. Uh, not not yeah. So the first step is coaching to change the mindset, the mindset right. of the leader and the mindset of the team. Right. And then um, the next step is creating the system. Mm. So like just um, that's why I call this uh, gamify action system. It's a gaming system. Uh, because if we create SOP, you know, uh, 100 pages of SOP. <laughs> and you no pay, one reads it. <laughs> no one reads it. No one's using it. Even you have, you have to do flow chart, you know, flow chart. You right. put it on the, I, I had this in 2017. So I put flow chart and put it on the wall. And people are still not following it. I say, why don't you follow it? It's on the wall. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> so we are creating this um uh, uh i i create i i found this frameworks from from coaching and and uh practicing it into my company uh, one of them is called florence mm. florence flow procedure and checklist mm. florence um it's it's a practical tools for people who can who want to um, make sure that the, the team is doing whatever he's doing. So right. I did it like this. I want to clone this to you. So uh, we, can, we can use that tool. Um, <clears throat> and, and yeah, well, our clients is, um, is, uh, is happy to be, to be uh, we, we help them with done for you. And right. they have, uh, they can reduce their time because um, most of them, uh, like like this. So why I, I ask them why are you keep in your in your business? Why where where were you in your business all the time? 
and they said because I'm worried. Right. 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 There, there, we all worry. Right. There's maybe that sense of they want to have control. Yeah, they want they want to have control. And so they, they need to check. Right. And it's it's correct. If you don't check, that's wrong. You need to check. <laughs> right. You need to control. You need to monitor. You need to you need to do something because they're worried about something. So right. we can make the worry into the system, so they can right. they can uh, be less worry. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and and now with the pandemic and everything, do you see uh, more reliance on technology to help them with systems? Yeah. Yeah. Even our company, our business, we used to have lots of. Um, paperworks like paper like real paper you know sign here you know we have to print and input again everything else now the pandemic has uh <clears throat> has what do you call that uh force us yeah mm. has forced us to learn this new technology like even we are on different part yeah where are you now <laughs> in jakarta <laughs> no I, i'm in, in chiawi chiawi yeah. right yeah you're, yeah. In, you're in puncak and in Chiawi and I'm in Jakarta we can we can do podcasts uh, here so we try to systemize everything and centralize everything so now even in our company we don't use we don't use um <clears throat> tanda tangan basah apa itu namanya uh, handwritten signature anymore right everything si- is digital now yeah we sign we sign on google sheet okay we just change the font into like you know curly stuff into like look like a signature <laughs> And and we can see who's writing on the, in on one cell, right. right? On Google Sheet, you can right click and see edit history, and you can see who's writing on it. So right. that's enough. The password you are using to log into your account is your signature. Right. right? Everyone is doing that. So we stop doing handwritten signature, and uh, and this like you know help us uh, reduce lots of time in doing back and forth. Um, approvals and you know forms and processes. Right, but is that something that a lot of businesses haven't adapted to, or are they already adapting to that? Yeah, and some businesses are not yet ready for that. You know, some mm. people even say, uh, "We, I'm saying that you know, we put all to Google. How, uh, how about if Google?" Uh, crashes came down <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> well well how about if microsoft went down <laughs> how about if internet went down how about if electricity went down <laughs> so you put everything on electricity now right True. so yeah people are moving so even ourselves in google ourselves our lives in google our lives in facebook and instagram now so That's that's the world is you know how how the world is going to now. <laughs> very true, very yeah. true, and and so you've seen, um, I guess more businesses have to adapt to that, right? Yeah. And if they don't, basically they fall fall behind. Yeah, yeah. If you don't change, the change. If you don't change, you you will not be successful. So right. Because the only thing that never change is change itself. <laughs> Exactly. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the only thing that's always the same is change. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's better. <laughs> it's always the same. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, Joshua, it's um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and um, you know we're running a bit out of time right now, um, so I do have one more question. Let's say that your time has come to an end. And you've accomplished everything you've wanted to accomplish, and um, everything that you've created, um, you have to take with you uh, to a to a better place. Um, and you can only leave behind two pearls of wisdom. What would these two pearls of wisdom be? Okay, the first of wisdom is related to our last statement. Um, I I learned from uh, one song of Michael Jackson. It's called Man in Mirror. So um, I'm looking at the man in the mirror, and right. I'm trying to change his ways. Something like that. Mm. So uh, if you make, if you want to make a better world, take a look at yourself in the mirror, 
mm. and force him or her to change his ways. So mm. start with you, start with don't start with anyone else, start with right. yourself and force you force yourself to adapt to the the ever changing world and start making a change. Wow, like I it. I used to have I don't like apples and now like apples. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good uh, pearl of wisdom i think it's really important because a lot of people want to change the world they want to change everyone but themselves yeah <laughs> yeah yeah if you change yourself a... other people will start to change very true that's very true mm. and what about your second pearl of wisdom? okay the second one is i uh, have a slogan it's mm. called uh, leave your busyness And the the BC the the Y have a dot on it, so it can you can read business or business, live your business and live your life. Mm. So my point is, we are living. We are not living to have to work to to for our business is not everything. Our right. business is a, a means for us to live our life. Right. So remember not to. Just focus on working and and business. Although work hard is very important, I still working hard at right now. But um, your end goal should be living your life. So live your business and live your life. Wow, and I think that's what you do, right? So you help people leave yeah. their business and live their yeah. life. So um, that's really powerful, I think. So thank you very much, uh, Joshua, for that. Thank and you, um, I do have one more question is uh, for the listeners or audience out there that are interested in connecting with you, maybe engaging with you to help them leave their busyness and live their life. How can they contact you and get in touch with you? Okay. Um, I have uh, my Instagram, mm -hmm. joshuatan.id. And that even the website there, joshuatan.id. Joshuatan.id. Yep. Uh, okay. We have the YouTube. You can see my videos in YouTube. Um, currently, it's in Bahasa Indonesia, but I think we can do something in English, yeah, David? Uh, sure. I didn't realize <laughs> even this one hour, you have one hour over here. Uh, this almost one hour, I'm not using any script. And I'm, I'm, I cannot say anything like, yeah. I I'm I cannot believe that I can speak English this you know this far. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're being too modest there because your English is great and and you did say earlier you were um, introverted but I don't see that anymore. I think you yeah, you've yeah. changed a lot. I've changed. I've changed. And I think that goes back to your first pearl of wisdom which is you know look in the mirror and see what you can do to yourself first be the change you want to see so yeah. it's been a it's been a great pleasure so people can get in touch with um joshua please if you're interested in engaging with him you can go to instagram uh, joshuatan.id that's also his website joshuatan.id and what's your youtube channel sorry uh same joshuatan uh, joshua well, it's just a bit different uh slash uh, no. Um, dash. What do you call the dash? Dash ID. Yeah. Dash ID instead of dot no. ID. Yeah. And for all the viewers, we'll leave that in the comment box so you can um, access it um, through the link in the comments. Um, and again, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Joshua Tan. Yes. Thank you. For thank you very much, David, for this opportunity and for me to talk in English for this one hour. <laughs> and this will be. This can be the start of my my future journey of you know talking in in english in the webinars <laughs> and seminars we <laughs> well, should do it we, together we we hope to see that yeah, more of yeah, that yeah. and um it would be great to have you on and see how you do with that all right, all right. <laughs> that's good that's awesome. good thank you very much again. thank you and everyone else um keep uh keep moving keep changing yourself and and live your life absolutely <laughs> yes everyone out there Be safe, be productive, and be positive. So thank you again, Joshua. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone. everyone. Please listen. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section, and we'll try to answer them. Um, perhaps if uh, Joshua uh, is generous enough to donate his time and come back on, we could address some of those questions. So. Yeah. 
Thank you to all the viewers. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Joshua Tan. Bye, everyone, for now. Bye-bye. See bye. you. <laughs>